Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. Today we're checking out 50 funny posts that perfectly illustrate what British humor is all about. Now, best fail. Been having fun doing checking out these posts rather than watching regular videos. So yeah, let's let's let's. How can there be 50 more? On the morning countryside dog walk, when I hear barking, couldn't figure out where it was coming from until I looked up. Oh, there's a dachshund on the roof. <laughs> oh, I love dachshunds. I didn't know they could climb on roofs. Found in garden today. A fox does seem really British, doesn't it? I know we have them in the States, but they're adorable. Picked Nanny up to take her to an 8.30 dentist appointment. She made me pack a lunch. She made, she made me a packed lunch in case I got hungry while I wait the 45 minutes for the appointment. Nans are awesome. Wow. What a Nan. What a, what a considerate person. I don't have a Nan anymore. Coming back to my desk wondering where my pistachios went. Nearly had a heart attack. <gasps> oh! <laughs> wow. That squirrel scored. Got some pistachios. I applaud Tesco for doing this. Pop, pop to your local if you can. Pops have had it tough this year. That's why, for once, instead of telling you about our fantastic deals, we're using this space to ask you to support them instead of as long in, to support them instead, as long as you feel safe to do so. Because right now, every little helps. Tesco. That's great. I've heard uh, British pubs are not doing well anymore because people just aren't going to the pubs. Beers become expensive, and this is great. Tesco, way to go. I've never seen an American company say, hey, go to another business and support them. But Tesco's saying, don't buy beer here, go to your pub. Wow, that's awesome. Wait for Tesco. Guy from the TV light license? TV, that's, a, that's not how you spell license, is it? Guy from the TV license knocked on my uncle's pal's door and he told them he didn't have a telly and the guy was like, you've got an aerial on your roof and he said, I've got a pint of milk in the fridge. Doesn't mean I've got a cow out back and shut the door. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because in Britain, if you want certain channels, I think you have to have a TV license. But this guy is saying, so I guess there's people who police that. And a guy saw a, what on the roof? An aerial on your roof, which I, I guess is like a, what we would call a satellite dish. You've got a satellite dish on your roof. And then the guy said, I've got a pint of milk in the fridge. Doesn't mean I've got a cow out the back. Okay, I get it. Wow. Good for him. Yeah. Just because I have a satellite dish on my roof doesn't mean I've got a television. Go f*** yourself. Goodbye, Dan. It's about time you f***ed off. You were sh <laughs> Only in the UK would it be understood by everyone. This is a message of affection. <laughs> yeah. In America, I think people would laugh, but then they would think, well, maybe, why did they... Why did they say that? Did they really mean that? Was that sarcasm? What I thought it would look like in the Euro Tunnel when I was eight. Yeah. This was a meme on another video I watched. And yeah, how cool will it be? How cool would it be if the Euro Tunnel really looked like that? It would probably, there would have been a disaster by now. It would have caved in. Someone would have cracked it. Not if they used Gorilla Glass, though. Might be all right. Ne next tunnel. Next tunnel used Gorilla Glass. Range Yorkshire puddings with gravy. Are those mushrooms? I said Yorkshire, and I realize it's Yorkshire now. Don't, don't lambast me. What does a Yorkshire pudding look like exactly? Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, it does look like those. It's funny. What's the brown liquid though? Kinda gross. Going to my mates for football tonight. My mom just popped in to drop these off for me to share with my friends. What? I don't get it. That's a considerate mom. I don't get this one. Can't beat a British festival. <laughs> it's a lot of rain. No ball games. Schrodinger's ball games. <laughs> Quantum entanglement. Struggling to understand the hype around Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson going to space when a guy from Wigan and his dog reached the moon in a homemade rocket in 1989. Why is the media silent on this? Yeah, I get this one. I know I've seen those stop motion animation, but I don't... 
coming. This company has been getting boycotted over their name. I'm sorry, but this is brilliant British humor. Jack the Chipper. <laughs> yeah, that's wonderful. For fish and chips? That's a brilliant name. Even better if it's in the area where Jack the Ripper killed people. Is it Whitehall? Something like that? Let's promote Jack the Chipper. Let's l look up where he is. It's in London. Jack the Chipper. Oh, look at this. Where are they? 95-95 Whitechapel High Street, London, E17 RA. Nearest station, Aldgate East. Go support this business, y'all. They got a great name. Support humor in your business's names. Next, historical figures lined up for reopening of Museum of Gloucester. <laughs> There's a T-Rex? I guess that's a historical figure. Now this is how you sell a laminator. <laughs> That's great. That's funny. Good. Good humor. This 900 year old floor tile at Gloucester Cathedral contains the footprint of a very good boy. Aww. Wow. I love that. I love dogs. They're great. They're the best. 007 not in service. Title of the next Bond film announced. Yeah, uh, good, yeah, funny, yeah. Jesus saves but can't park for sh I'm pretty sure Jesus wouldn't... Oh, okay, they got a bumper sticker that says Jesus Disciple. I'm pretty sure Jesus wouldn't have parked like a bell end. <laughs> Great. For my American friends, a bell end is a penis. Or a Took this on my evening walk last night, thought it looked quintessentially British. Oh, yeah, it does. There's a church. I think the only thing that would make it more British would be like a cobblestone street and maybe the queen walking around there. Somebody drinking tea or something, if it was raining. Drove past Batman on the M5 yesterday. Good to know he's out there keeping us all safe. Oh, somebody put a Batman logo on their spider. I don't understand those vehicles. I don't get it. They look really unsafe. They must be really fun to drive. I don't know why else you would get one. Pineapple juice ruled out as the cause of Cowden Beth mystery puddle. Pineapple juice? I don't get this one. Every man reopening 17th of maybe. <laughs> My local cinema being a little pessimistic about reopening. I bet it was 17th of May and someone put a B in either. Fairy cake, butterfly cake, cupcake, muffin. I thought I'd clear a few things up. I guess I've never had a fairy cake and I've never had a butterfly cake. Maybe I have had a fairy cake, but I made it thinking I was making a cupcake, but I just didn't put that much frosting on it. This is opening my eyes. I have clear eyes now. Is that a common British thing? Spotted in Manchester. Oh, what does it say? There's something written on the bitch. Broadcaster Mark Radcliffe used to love sitting here and still does thanks to advances in cancer research. <laughs> Wow, yeah, I like that. That's funny. Promote the cancer research. Just explained to a delighted American that we call crosswalks zebra crossings. Then she asked what we call crossing guards, and I said lollipop ladies. <laughs> and now she thinks I've just made the whole thing up. You, do you really call them lollipop ladies? Oh, it's an addiction. Oh, it is. Ah. <gasps> Lollipop lady, a woman who helps children cross the road near a school. Oh, because she's holding the the thing looks like a big lollipop. Wow, y'all, I've been watching a lot of videos about British culture over the last few months, and you would think that there wouldn't be any other of these little terms that I've not come across, but here's one: lollipop ladies. I love the term. What is that? It looks like two cops on a jet ski eating ice cream. Is that what's happening there? I think that's what's happening there. Stay off the tracks. They are only for trains. If you can read this, you are not a train. Trains can read. Now, with AI, sure they can read. Trains can read. Come on, this must be a few years old. I think we can all agree that this is a fine headline. Good old National Trust. 
They're cleaning up the uh, penis of this whatever you would call it. Keep that boner healthy. Oh, this is the... Okay. Hi, Steven. Our top priority has been taking care of our members. <laughs> Funny. I present to you the greatest lie told to this country. 30 grams is an acceptable serving size of cereal. Yeah. No. Fill that bowl up. To the top. I was looking at places in London and saw this. The front door is a window. <laughs> huh. I mean, if that keeps the price down, great. I'll climb through a window every time I come home. Not too bad, but hilarious. My local Tesco's has had to create a no man's land to protect the price reducer. What are those people trying to do? Are they trying to... I don't get this one, but it looks funny. They've got a gate up around this person. Price reducer. Is that they're just going around and changing the prices on stuff? I don't get this one. This one confuses me. Caterpillar, The Trial of Cuthbert and Colin. The Netflix documentary we are all waiting for. I've heard about the caterpillars. It's like a cake for children's birthday parties. And there's an original one. And then there's one that there's like a copied version, right? Is that what's happening? City of L Leicester starts turning bus stops into B stops. That's a great idea. Sorry if I'm saying the name of the town wrong, or city. When the pubs have been closed for four months, a bit of rain won't stop these lads. Wow, look at that. That's a lot of rain. They're just drinking their pints. I wonder what they're talking about. Why not go inside? Maybe it's during COVID. Must be COVID. Today, I stumbled upon where history was made. Rick Astley never gonna give you up. Whoa! Wow. That is history. You know, Rick Astley seems like he has a heart of gold. I like him. This little guy has come to visit me every night for the past two weeks. I know it's a fox, but that's a terrifying look that it has. Like, I want to eat you. Give me food now. Stop feeding the foxes. Don't feed wild animals. They need to learn to get food on their own. Or else they're not going to get food when you're gone. It's for their own good. As much as you want to feed the fox, don't do it. Getting the front seat at the top of a double-decker bus. Oh, <laughs> level of excitement? High. Low. Child, age, adult. Oh, so they're saying even as adult, you want to get the front seat of a double-decker bus. I would love to ride on a double-decker bus. I think that would be so cool. What a great vantage point to explore a city. This is my granddad, Colin. He came home last night, fell through the door, and told my nan to lose some weight. Apparently he drank 19 pints of Moretti in Weatherspoons. To anyone who bought him one, you should be thoroughly ashamed. <laughs> 19 pints. That could kill somebody. I have a photo. Oh, there he is. He looks like he's sitting up straight and he's doing good. Can't get more casual than a pony waiting outside the post office. Yeah, that's pretty casual. I don't like it when people tie up animals outside of businesses. It's not safe for the animal. Especially when people do it with dogs. The dog doesn't know. What, the dog thinks it's just being left behind. What mental torture. Saw this today on Towin Beach, New Quay. We can, we can be a romantic bunch. Congratulations, whoever you are. Megan Victoria Adrams, will you marry me? That's actually really beautifully done. I hope she said yes. She may have said no. Towin Beach, New Quay. Where's that? I'm, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but it, it's probably in Wales or something. Right. Congratulations, you two. Maths. Maths. Three for a pound. Any three for one pound. Three for one pound. 30 pence? I don't know how much 30 pence is compared Wait, there's like 30, 30, is a pence the same as cents in America? So it would actually be cheaper to buy three individual, like you're getting charged more for buying three than it would to buy three individual. Is that what it's saying? I think that's what it's saying. I think that's the joke. I think I get this. Haha. -ha. Went to the UK for a couple of days, bought a few souvenirs, digestives, 
Those are biscuits, right? Or oat, oat cakes? Marmite. I've not tried Marmite. I've heard of it. Oh, and they got the brown sauce. Is that the brown sauce? Surely Aldi could have chosen a better font. <laughs> yep. Uh, I assume this product is called Lemon Fizz, but it looks like it says Lemon Jizz. Cleansing hand gel. I don't think... I'm, I'm avoiding making inappropriate jokes. Thank you. Wow, these were, some of these were really funny. Some of them I didn't get, but they all seem pretty British. These were great. Anyway, thank y'all for watching this with me, and I'll see you next time. Later.